And one word that they're scared of, that frightens them to death, is when you say Flint water. We're terrified. Carrie Weber summed up her feelings in two words. As it relates to the Flint water woes and the lead contaminated water, the mother of two daughters is fearful of what the future might hold. My girls are 15 and 20, very close to their next birthdays. We have no idea long term what this means for the reproduction. The pinned up anxiety that this family is feeling on a daily basis is overflowing. It started when experts discovered high levels of lead and the drinking water flowing from the tap at houses throughout the city. And for this mother, it's frightening. It's horrifying. It's just horrifying. This should have never happened. How offended are you as a citizen of Flint? that you're paying for water that you can't even use. I'm not even offended. I am so angry. I am absolutely angry. Our water bill last month was $240. For what? Carrie's youngest daughter, Victoria, is 15. She's had extreme complications due to lead poisoning, while her oldest daughter, Stephanie, appears lead-free, at least for now. As a mother, she wonders what will happen to them in a few years after having consumer lace water. And she wonders where she went wrong. There are words. We have fought for these kids. We didn't have these kids easy. It took us five years for one, four for the other, and experienced horrible things along the road. Protected them at every turn and handed her poison in a glass. A mother's pain but not her blame. When you consider the mere fact that Victoria, the 15-year-old, she'll be going to Ann Arbor tomorrow for medical examination for kidney failure. TV5 will stay with this family. We'll bring you up-to-date coverage and coverage you can count on. Reporting live in Flint, Ronnie Duncan, WNEM, TV5. Hi, Ronnie.